This is Angler, and I am bringing you the latest drone flight coverage of the Giga Nevada Tesla Semi construction site. Um, and we'll see what progress has been made in seven days. I normally only come every two weeks because the progress, frankly, just hasn't been fast enough to warrant um, more frequent flights. But I decided to stop by today and see what's happened in the last seven days. And um, we can discover that together. That's the entrance, the new entrance to the uh, this portion of the uh, of the Giga Nevada property that is the uh, construction for the semi factory and probable battery factory using CATL equipment to feed that those semis. Perhaps it seems to make sense. Anyways, one of the things, one of some of the progress that I can easily see is uh, all the riprap rock put along that edge, sort of in this center right of the screen, um, and uh, all that rock has been brought in since seven days ago and spread, and it looks to be finished. They were still shaping that um, edge uh, last week, a week ago, Friday, and. Uh, most of this portion of the uh, construction site has been completed. Um, the other big note thing I've noticed, though, is that, that a lot of the rock has been brought in. That same sort of riprap erosion control rock has been brought into this corner um, of, the, of the construction site. This is the far north end heading over west. And so this whole northwest corner has had a sort of a layer of uh, riprap rock laid um, for erosion control. But most of the equipment currently is at the far south end, south end and southwest end, um, as you can see here. I am not um, flying over the uh, Giga Nevada property, even though it is legal for me to do so, as long as I'm 250 feet above uh, the ground, but um, still waiting to see if. Uh, and I would encourage anybody at Tesla to reach out and see if um, there's a way I can do it as an ally with them, like Joe Tegmeyer does, versus an adversary, and uh, doing it as an insistence of my um, right to do so, but um, not with their approval. I would much prefer to have their approval and if they have any particular areas they want me to avoid um, be glad to do it I've also told them that I'd be um, happy to uh, notify them before every flight and uh, they can let me know if there's any issues or sensitive areas I should avoid um, anyway back to this uh, video this is a piece of this is a broken down excavator the treads come fell, fallen off of it and so it's disabled and um, you'll get a little better look at it for just as a, as a curiosity, and um, and then we'll get a little pan of the um, of the entire site. And um, I don't know if we're going to see pilings pile um, drilling equipment like we did at Giga Nevada. I I mean Giga Texas. Um, we'll see. I'm thinking it might be uh, more. I don't know if that, that type of construction is typical here for factories um, and commercial property. It, we'll see. Really, I can't wait to see some sign of foundation work. Um, thanks for tuning in. Bye.